Good morning. Today is February 19th, and today I'm doing a little online school snowy day winter morning routine. Um, I <clears throat> love filming the routine videos. That's why I've come out with a bunch recently. I did like a weekly reset. I did my night routine, and now I'm doing this one. So hope you guys don't mind. I just I've just been pushing out a lot of content and I'm trying to get like my like simple videos not out of the way but like done you know that way I could like move on to better things I guess because I love routines I'm never gonna stop doing the routines I just want to make different videos as well but I'm like since I already put out all m a bunch of routines I might as well just throw out the morning routine too I hope that makes sense but hope you guys are doing well Today is going to be a good day. Yesterday I had such a bad day and I told myself I'm going to get up today. I got 11 hours of sleep. I went to bed at 8.30 last night. And then I woke up at like 7, 7.30. So, that's that. And it's 8.06 right now. I just got out of the shower. Um, technically I'm in my first period class. But she let us go do our assignment. But I've had more than a week week to do the assignment so I already did the assignment so I was going to take advantage of this morning so as you guys saw I already did a bunch I filled up my water bottle took a shower iced my face that's something that is new to the morning routine I've been trying to do that every day um I've noticed like a lot of benefits from it my skin hasn't been as oily and it's helped my under eye circles and I'm obviously still like really young I don't have bad under eye circles but when I don't get enough sleep they they show for everybody like it's not nothing to be insecure about but like for a morning like puffy looking face I think that it has helped a lot um I really like it and it, it helps wake me up too which is nice because it's like cold water like on your face and I know I get that same sensation when I like wash my face but something about it it's different so I would really recommend that if you guys were wondering like what I was doing and like why I was doing it I've been I see my face I saw it on TikTok and I just been doing it ever since so yeah that is my little update I'm gonna do my hair now um I'm gonna film a lot today something that I want to do is film today I realized that like filming videos has made me so happy recently and then when I got my laptop I've had so much fun editing the videos so I don't know I've just been super motivated to film videos lately so I'm gonna take advantage of that because sometimes I feel burnt out like many other people do but yeah taking advantage I want to film at least two to three today and this is obviously the first one um, I want to do an organization tips video, like how I stay organized and on top of my stuff. Kind of showing you guys what planners I use and stuff like that and how I like plan out my day. I also wanted to do like a current favorites. Sorry, I got like the hiccups or something. I know um, I've done those videos in the past, um, but I've used a lot of new products. Something, something just clicked and I just really wanted to see that video. And then as you guys know, I bleached my hair recently, so I've been trying to do a lot more hair care. Um, obviously, I'll show you this in the video, but if you have curly hair, kind of like similar to mine, or even like tighter curls, I know this I know this is going to work good for you. The brand is called Mizani. Mizani. I got this at Cosmo Prof, which is like a hair store. I have like a card because I'm in hairdressing, but... I'm sure you guys could find this online somewhere. It's a curl enhancing lotion. It helps, like it's for curls, coils, and waves. True textures, that's what it says. Um, curl enhancing lotion, it has coconut, olive, and marula oils. So basically, any type of curls, I think this will help you really well. Um, I've been trying to get out of using Shea Moisture because it's like oil based and I don't like how my hair weights down. This gives me like a fluffier, more natural look, so. If you're looking for a hair product recommendation, definitely is this. But I'm going to just do a little like slick bun today. Just to get my hair out of my face. I like this natural part I got going on. But yeah. Good morning. Let's say our affirmations together. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am rich. No, I'm just playing. But I'm going to have a good day. My day is what I make of it. My vibe attracts my tribe. I am beautiful, I love the body that I'm in, and I'm capable of great things.
leave your affirmations below. Let's start a little affirmation hour. I got that inspiration from Hannah Malosh, and I've kind of been like loving how she's been doing that. But anyways, I'm going to do my hair now. I just wanted to check in and say hi. guys <clears throat> i'm all ready for my day it's gonna be a lazy day at home as you guys saw before it's like snowing outside but anyways it's gonna be a nice lazy day at home i just did it in a little slick bun not even slick i kind of just brushed it back um these are my earrings that i'm wearing because i haven't been wearing jewelry at least so i want it to feel a little a little put together um this is my boyfriend's hoodie very oversized love it <laughs> but it's from american eagle these leggings are actually from Target, and these fuzzy socks are mismatched, as you can see, and I don't know where they're from. But I'm going to go make breakfast before my next class. This is what I prepared for breakfast today. I just made, this looks kind of weird. I made an omelet, some toast, and I'm having a halo with that. But I don't like my eggs like without anything on them. So I'm gonna put hot sauce on it and it tastes great. So if you like hot sauce and you like eggs, try it if you haven't. Um, so right now I'm in second period. I'm in my forensics class and it's mainly just catching up on late work as well. All right, so I'm all caught up. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy my breakfast. Chef's kiss, and I'm the chef, period. But, in the morning, as you guys know, if you like watch my videos, I love journaling in the morning. It puts me in like a good, good headspace, I guess. Kind of just starting the day off the right foot and stuff. My mom's talking in the background if you hear I like to write out stuff that I have to do, write my affirmations for the day, and then, I don't know, just like whatever's on my mind, I'll journal about my day sometimes. That's on rare occasions, that's if I'm like having, the, having a day. But other than that, I'll do like, oh, what's inspiring you right now? What can you do to make your days better? Stuff like that, kind of just like checking in with myself topics. But I'm going to talk more about that in another video. After I eat, I'm going to journal. So, I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on. I love toast. Like, it's just bread with butter, but something about it, like when it's toasted the right way. So good. But, um, funny story. I was cooking this in our toaster oven. We got a toaster oven over quarantine. And I kind of just cook everything in there, like my toast. I'll like do like frozen food, whatever it is. I make it in there for the most part. This was set to bake, not to toast. So it was like baking it. So then it had to stay in there like five extra minutes to toast. So yeah, this is the outcome. But I like my toast golden, so I'm not even upset about it. I'm going to eat now, journal, and then I'll talk to you guys. I'm going to be in my vlog, my morning routine vlog.
guys. So I wrote in my doing well daily journal, of course, and then my regular online journal. Um, my Pinterest boards are in private right now. Let me know if you want them on public because I have a lot of like inspiration on there. But one of my boards is like prompts for journaling, like journaling prompts. And I've been following like a 30 day writing, like 30 day journal challenge. Coincidentally, I was thinking about my boyfriend this morning. Like, oh, I wonder how he's doing, yada yada. Day 19, write about your first love. So I wrote a whole paragraph about him and why I appreciate him and stuff. So it was just nice to get that on paper. But anyways, I think that's it for the morning routine. Um, let me know what you guys thought of today's video. If you like the background music, like the aesthetic, or do you like me talking things through, like this is how I make my eggs, rather than showing you. I don't really know what you guys want, but let me know if you like the music or if you like when I talk things through. I'm gonna export these files now and edit it. And like I said, I just had so much fun with YouTube and I hope you guys are enjoying the content that I'm putting out. And yeah, I also have a Poshmark store. I have a mini talk to you guys about. I have a Poshmark store, if you didn't know. It's Shantae0205, I'll have it on the screen, right here. But I've been selling a lot of clothes on there. I've been trying to sell, I have so much listed on there. So the prices are really reasonable and if you wanna make offers and stuff, I'm willing to negotiate, of course. Just trying to get rid of my clothes and if not, I'm gonna bring them to Goodwill soon. But just wanted to throw that in here if you guys were interested. Um, yeah, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, add me on Snap, do all of that, subscribe to the channel. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video.